tweet at drivetime or TE. You're welcome back. In Spain, the Rubiales row has intensified. Prosecutors have launched a sexual assault investigation against him. His mother has gone on hunger strike in a plea to the public to leave him alone. But the public, or members of the public, continue protesting his uh, continuance in the role. The case centres, as you know, on the unwanted kiss on the mouth he gave to player Jennifer Hermoso after Spain won the Women's World Cup. Well, joining me now to discuss this further is uh, freelance journalist uh, based in Madrid, Simon Hunter. Simon, you're very welcome to the programme. Um, there is a, a meeting ongoing, an extraordinary and an urgent meeting ongoing this uh, afternoon, isn't there, surrounding the um, the Rubiales row, and this is Spain's footballing authority. W- any word from there? Uh, yeah, hi, Cormac. Uh, great to speak to you. This is yeah. The the meeting started late, which is perhaps not surprised considering how much the pressure there is uh, uh, around this case at the moment. There's no word yet, but um, we did get a few comments from some of the um, regional football chiefs before they went in. For example, the uh, president of the Madrid Football Federation, a gentleman called Paco Diaz, he said things have to radically change. And also the president from the Canary Islands, he backed Luis Rubiales' management of the sports and, sport and business before he went into the meeting, but he also called for change. He said that he didn't applaud Rubiales when he made that rambling and, and quite bizarre speech on Friday, defending himself and actually going on the attack against um, Jenny uh, Hermoso. I mean, on the table for these for these regional football chiefs, really what, what they're going to decide on today is whether they're going to call for Rubiales to quit because especially after the suspension, uh, his suspension by FIFA, over the weekend. I mean, the pressure really is, you know, it's at unsustainable levels now. It's, it's extraordinary that he hasn't resigned already. But there's also the option of a, a no confidence motion. And they're also going to be considering the future of the two coaches, the men's and women's uh, national team coaches. Uh, Luis de la Fuente is the men's team coach and Jorge Vilda is the uh, women's team coach because um, they were also among the um, Spanish FA members who were quite vigorously applauding uh, Rubiales um, during his speech on Friday, which has been severely frowned on. It's worth pointing out as well that the women's team coach, uh, Jorge Vilda, was vigorously applauding uh, Luis Rubiales just after Rubiales uh, had uh, announced that he was going to raise his salary. So yeah. <laughs> that's not, well, it's, not It's, it's not bizarre, surprising. isn't it? But the, the levels of emotion and intensity, uh, they, they seem to reflect what we experienced here during the, the Saipan row and Roy Keane. Um, but can, can I ask you about the threat to leave UEFA. Yeah, I, 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 I can't comment on that. I don't know if this is gonna if it's gonna have a, a knock on effect with the, with, the, with in terms of uh, uh, the membership of UEFA. I mean, obviously, the the, the issue here is that the. You know, Ruby Alice is not just the head of the FA, but he's also one of the vice chairman of uh, uh, of UEFA. I mean, and this kind of explains why he's so he's so um, he's he's so reticent to leave the role. And they really are going to have to you know pry him out with a crowbar because he's incredibly well paid. I mean, it's nearly a million euros that he um, receives a year for um, for those two roles. But there's um, an awful lot of pressure on him from, as you described, the various authorities and the politicians, even to the highest level as well. The other side of it, then, his mother is, uh, as I mentioned is on hunger strike. What can you tell me about that? Yeah, so this was the bizarre... T- I mean, it's already an incredibly bizarre story, but there was the bizarre twist this morning that, that we woke up to that I did a story about this this morning. Um, so this is a- Angeles Be- uh, Bejar. That's his mother. She shut herself away in a church in um, their hometown of Motril, which is in Granada down in Andalusia. She's gone on hunger strike. She's saying she's going to do an indefinite hunger strike in protest against what she's calling an inhuman witch hunt against her son. She's actually calling on Jenny Hermoso to tell the truth so she's accusing um jenny also uh, uh, of lying um but it's it's quite interesting what's happened what's the developments that's happening so yesterday there was going to be a, de- a a football game in motril in granada in support of uh, ruby alias obviously it being his hometown there's considerable support for him there but it was called off because of fears of a counter protest by um feminist groups and now what's happening this evening is that 
people who support Ruby Alice are staging a protest down in Montreal in Granada outside the church where his mother is, while at the very same time in Madrid, we're um, going to have a feminist protest and feminist groups are calling for uh, protests to support the uh, women's team and to protest against um, Ruby Alice. So, I mean, really, with this pressure, it really does seem impossible that he will be able to come back from this, but perhaps perhaps in his favour, um, this FIFA suspension means that he cannot make any more statements. He cannot um, speak publicly at the moment, which considering how much more hot water he got himself in on Friday mm. is probably actually a good thing for him. Well, that's, there's an irony in that, uh, isn't there? Look, we'll see uh, what happens over the next uh, couple of days. Simon Hunter, freelance journalist in Madrid. Thank you very much indeed for joining us.